Well, hey there, it's Pastor Kurt, and uh, I wanted to give you just a quick update with this email blast that you're receiving right now on where things are in the life of St. John's and even in my own life right now. Uh, nothing big going on at this moment other than I'm not able to be with you this weekend. You know, last weekend I was gone. Uh, we were visiting another church. The church has called me to be and serve as their senior pastor. Shelly and I are still in prayer. We ask that you join us in prayer as we ask God to clearly lead us to where he wants us to serve. But um, I'm not going to be there this weekend either. And here's the reason why. Uh, Shelly and I found out this week that we were in direct contact with somebody who has tested positive with COVID. That person uh, we've been praying for is doing well and getting better each day. But because of that, I did a quick check with my doctor and he uh, encouraged me to do the right thing and not be in worship with you this weekend. So really, Shelly and I are finishing up some quarantine time, if you will. Uh, both of us are doing well. In fact, I'm not going to lie. We're quarantining at our little tiny place in Wisconsin, which may or may not mean that I might go out and quarantine on the lake while I cast a few lures. We'll see how that pans out, though. Um, but in the meantime, as we get ready for this weekend's worship service, I want to thank Pastor Dennis Lasansky. Um, he is uh, he is going to be filling in for me. He graciously uh, stepped in at the last minute, so we are we are blessed to have him as a part of us leading worship. And I'm sure God will bless the message that he gives Pastor Lasansky to share with all of us. And when I say us, I do mean us because I'll be worshiping with you worshiping with you online. I love the fact that we're still able to live stream. So don't forget that. That if you're not able to be in worship for any reason, maybe something similar to what my wife and I are going through right now, we have that wonderful opportunity to worship online together as we live stream our 1030 service. So don't forget to share that with others as well. And while I'm at it, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you for everything that you continue to do as a faith family at St. John's, especially our veterans. Any of you out there that have served or are serving our nation, we thank God for each and every one of you. I know uh, that we're about to approach Veterans Day, but it's unfortunate that we only do this every so often because this past week, I'm not going to lie, I was thanking God for all of you as I was able to cast my vote freely in this nation and not have to worry too much about anything happening. Uh, whether it's the person you want that's going to be the next president or not, uh, either way, what a blessing. And so we thank God for all the veterans out there. And we pray that God continues to bless you each and every day, especially making it known how much of a blessing you are to us. As far as life at St. John's goes, uh, certainly don't forget to check out all the different things, the details, the opportunities that are before you. Fill out that Connect card that is uh, is going to be in your bulletin on Saturday or Sunday, or you can do it online. And then also check out all the things that are going on. Don't forget, as we roll around into the holiday season with Thanksgiving, not too long, not too far away. What is it, like two or three weeks away now? Uh, we have opportunities to, uh, you know, uh, order poinsettias for the Christmas season uh, to get uh, the, the wreaths from the youth fundraiser. Um, uh, there are so many different things you can do as well as take part in other avenues as well. But uh, for now, I just wish you God's blessings and just want to let you know I miss you. I'll see you next weekend. Um, I pray everything goes well where I'm able to see you next weekend and I'm looking forward to it. So God's blessings to all of you.